everybody, and welcome to this week's exciting episode of Burglary Bonanza. Let's start by introducing our defending champion, John Big Boutte. Tell us about yourself, John. Well, I've been unemployed for a couple of years now, and I'm figuring this is about my best chance at getting some money, so I'm practicing my neighbors and stuff, so I can make sure to beat him. Isn't that nice? Our challenger is Mr. Nigel Yellowfish. Nigel is, has just enjoyed a, a refreshing stint in Attica State Prison. Tell us about yourself, Nigel. Well, looks like my parole officer was right. My judgment hasn't gotten any better because I moved in next door to him. Isn't that nice? And now it's time to play the Bonanza. The rules are simple. We have a, a single family dwelling and our contestants will win whatever they can load into the truck before time expires. Linda, could you back the truck up? All right, gentlemen, this is it. I'll give you 40 seconds to don whatever disguises you want while I ch verify that the front door is open. Ah, up you bastard thing. Much better. Now, let's play the Bonanza. As the competition heats up, Nigel heads straight to the office, loaded with computer equipment. It's a good place to start. Weak choice to take though, that's an inkjet printer, it's a dime a dozen, no resale. John's taking a moment to disconnect the computer, it's a much better choice. Got some value on that. Nigel's heading back in. Now that monitor should be ready to take, but he's having some struggles with the cables, wasting a lot of time. Uh, it looks like he should be having that free in a moment, and there he goes, off to the truck. Here comes John, heading back in. Uh, not much but low value items left. He's taking a whole arm load. He's, he's interested in that coonskin cap, showing a little bit of his style there. Not particularly value, but uh, something he likes. Nigel heading back in, finds a dead PC carcass, and for some reason he's taking that anyway. Uh, no value at all on that. Uh, John coming back in, going through the absolute dregs of the table. Nothing left to take except those used CDs. And Nigel is continuing. Now there's an interesting strategy. He takes those whole crates, he's brought them into the kitchen here, and he's looking for things to load them up with. Uh, it looks like the crates already had some books on it. And meanwhile, John comes in and grabs the bread maker. Uh, very good, and uh, Nigel picks up on that and grabs the microwave. Uh, John here, back looking through a closet. He scares up a domestic house cat, not much value, but it looks like he's going to chase it down. I, oh, I think it's about time that we break from the bonanza. And that sound means that we're out of time. Cops! Everybody, cops, clear up! And that's all the time that we have today on Burglary Bonanza. Bye!